Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Planet Coaster. Today, well, today is Let's Build Pirate Valley Part 1, a new Let's Build series here on the channel. And I haven't done a Let's Build series in a very, very long time. I think it was 2013. I did a really bad Let's Build series in The Sims 3. I think. I might be mistaken in that assumption, but I'm pretty sure I did, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't the best thing in the world. It was something that... It was it was tied into a project I was doing at the time that was abandoned like two weeks later, so that was great. That was uh, excellent. <laughs> I realized, welcome to a new Let's Build series. Last time I did this, it was abandoned within two weeks. That's... I'm keeping it. That's, that's how we're starting this. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen to a pirate valley this is a is going to be a mostly pirate themed theme park here in planet coaster on one of the more uh silly terrain types if you've played the game i'm sure you've seen this map i've completely forgotten the name of it but it has a lot of verticality and it's quite challenging to build on so i thought let's make a pirate themed park and what you're going to see today is the first two rides that you'll come across in this park which is a roller coaster and the swinging ship which we've already placed the roller coaster not so much the roller coaster actually ends up going inside this building but not until much later on and we'll get to that in a minute but uh, these are the first two rides that you will see in the park i'm really happy with how these end up turning out they look so so great and uh i couldn't i really could be more happy they just they they turned out perfectly and it's weird because i sat down to build this and I was like okay we'll just do a one-off let's build and see how it goes for planet coaster and uh I three hours later I'm like I've done two things and it can't be a one-off let's build like this is a part one there's not there's no other way to put it this is a part one of something that's going to take me a really long time because like I said this took me three hours to a building and the ceiling ship took me three hours to do so i'm i'm definitely interested to see how this goes and with it being a part one we can have viewer feedback which is something i've not ever had in a let's build so that'd be lovely uh so if you have anything you want to see in this park go ahead and chuck it down in the comments below because i'm open to any and all suggestions because i'm just i i like the idea of of building this over a few weeks and and seeing how it goes I, I'm excited to see the end project here. Anyway, let's uh, talk a little bit more about the park in general. This building is quite colonial. It's it's not really pirate themed at all, which is not a great start for Pirate Valley. But the reason for that is that this upper area is, in my mind, sort of a colonial coastal town. And then the lower area of the map is sort of to represent the sea. So down there, we're going to have another swinging ship or two. We'll have some broken ships. I know there's a massive galleon as a, uh, a prop you can place down. So I'm excited to see how that ends up looking. But that's going to be a couple of episodes from now because we need to finish this top area first. But uh, I, I do have ideas for the lower area. I'm not too sure how we're going to get down there because, again, the terrain is crazy. And it's just I don't want a bunch of floating paths everywhere. So that's going to be a challenge to work out, but we'll get there eventually. Uh, speaking about this top area, the entrance to this park is quite modern. It's it's by default, though. I can't change it. You can't change the entrances to your parks and Planet Coaster currently. So what I'm going to end up doing is basically building a sort of almost a, a facade for that entrance where it will look more like a pirate entrance way from the inside of the park. From the outside, it's going to look modern, but on the inside, it will definitely look like it is with the piratey sort of colonial theme. But uh, again, we don't do that this episode. I spent three hours doing one building and uh, a swinging ship. And fun fact about this building, what you're seeing at the moment, me doing all this, I didn't know that this was going to be a roller uh, was going to house a roller coaster. I was just doing a building and I got like halfway through... I got like 90 minutes into this build and I was like, I'd better find something to do with this building because people, for one, are not going to go in here and I don't really want it to be a building that turns out to just be like a food court because it doesn't really look like the kind of building that would be a food court. So, I do end up putting a roller coaster in here and there are three doors down at the bottom. You'll see it at the front of the building. There's the one on the left, one in the middle, and one on the right. The one on the left ends up being the way up to the roller coaster. The one on the right 
uh, ends up being a place that part of the roller coaster track goes through. And the one in the middle is actually blocked off. And what I'm thinking is I might actually open up the one in the middle and put a couple of toilets in there, like three toilets, so people go in that door and can go to the bathroom. I think that could be a uh, a good use of space, to be honest. I, I think that could be a, a good way to do it, but we'll see. That's something to uh, revisit somewhere in the future, uh, or maybe I'll just do it off camera at some point. It's not really like it's going to be a big change to the park. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely interested to see just how this this whole thing goes I, it's gonna be fun to come back to it as well because it's something i've been doing with my let's play is um i i've been sort of going back to places and i'm like oh i'll redo this i'll change this a little bit like what was it? episodes two and three were sort of focusing on the the same area episode two sort of lays the foundation gives you the buildings and the functionality and then episode three is like okay let's just shake these up a little bit and make them look a little bit better and i like that but the thing is and this ties into why this is going to be its own series. That takes a lot of time. Like, like I said, this, I, I don't mean to keep repeating myself. I don't want to make a big deal out of it. But this took three hours to build. One building and one ride took that long. So th this is kind of something I can't really do in the standard Let's Play stuff. Because I, I like to walk you through a lot of the build process in, in that. I don't really want to um, just to... A whole episode of time lapse. I don't want to do a whole episode that turns out to be three hours long of building because that'll be terrible. So it's it's just a case of you know in this series I can do as much detailing as I want. I can do whatever I like and I don't have to be conscious of time. With the let's play, you do have to do that because and I'm gonna here's me talking generally about YouTube, something I shouldn't do. But whatever, I have a fun story about it anyway. Um, with, with let's play and videos in general, I mean. YouTube gives you a lot of statistics. Like, I know what the average amount of time is that you guys will spend watching a video. I like, the on average, out of everyone that watches, I know what the average amount of time spent watching is. I know what people prefer. I, like, I have so many statistics. And those statistics frequently tell me, and as a general rule of YouTube, is that, like, three-hour Let's Plays are not a good idea. Like, even 60 Minutes is pushing it a little bit sometimes. It's, that's just the way it is. Like, when you see YouTubers that consistently do, like, hour-long plus content, like, their statistics and their audience are okay with that, but when you see a channel that's doing, like, 20 to 30-minute videos, and you're like, oh, I wish I, had an, I wish I had an hour of this, you're usually in the minority, and I'm frequently in the minority. I, I love watching, like, City Skylines videos and light spills and all that stuff, and I'm like, I would love, like, longer versions of this, and the majority of people wouldn't. And it's, it's one of those weird things to consider because it's it also ties in with the idea that there is a very vocal minority of people. Like, the number of people that comment versus the number of people that watch a video are often very different. Same with liking and viewing and commenting. Like, there's, there's different people that do different things. The people that like won't necessarily comment. The people that view won't necessarily like whatever. It's, it's just one of those things. And the reason that ties into a YouTube story is because I can talk about why Let's Builds began with Thing on the channel again. Which is, is very interesting because Let's Build sort of came out of a, uh, just, just nowhere, really. I had my save corrupt on uh, my, my Season 3 save for City Skylines. Like, it just wouldn't work at all. So, uh, I just decided to do Let's Builds to fill the time between uh, City Skylines Snowfall and the end of my season. So, that turned out to be a really good idea, didn't it? That, that worked out better than I could have ever imagined. So... I'm incredibly pleased about that. But, uh, <laughs> quite the story there. What we're doing at the moment is just going about and adding some, uh, edges to the roof of the col <coughs> colonial building here. Excuse me. I had a sausage roll before sitting down to record this, and I can taste nothing but sausage roll, and it's really... I, I love sausage rolls, but I don't love tasting them while I'm trying to do a commentary. Do you see my problem here? I'm sure you guys... <laughs> can you relate to my problem, guys? Hopefully. Uh, what am I doing? Anyway, like I said, we're doing some edges to the building. We're just adding the upper balcony here and then hiding the wood trim around the edge there. That's actually something I really don't like about Planet Coaster. Is that um, flat roof and floor pieces come through walls. Whereas walls that sort of almost bisect other sections of wall don't. If I have, imagine like 
a Y and an X axis. Y is going up, X is, X is across, so Y is up. That's actually a fun rhyme that my, uh, was it like second year maths teacher was like, oh, if you ever want to remember the way the axes on a graph go, then X is across and Y is up. Because X is a cross. It's like a cross that's tilt, yeah. So that's a fun way to remember that. Just, there you go. You have maths problems. But it, it was basically like, if you have a section of wall going up the Y axis and then bisect that with a bit that comes off the X axis, that won't clip, you won't see it on the other side in the way that you would see the roof pieces coming through a wall and you did see earlier. I would like that to be fixed because I like doing flooring and stuff inside these areas. I don't like that it comes through the building though. It's, it's kind of annoying. But hopefully, hopefully we'll see that fixed. I imagine we will, because the way the walls work when they bisect each other, they sort of adjust their shape a little bit at the corners, and it just works beautifully, so. I imagine that's something we'll, uh, we'll see at some point. Where are we in the build anyway? We're just doing the windows on the, the back at the moment. I don't think I do anything special with these. They're just windows. Oh no, I do some trim. I, I do a bit of trim around the building. At the uh, the back, because I thought the wall looked a little bit flat, and then I do this. I use seaweed as uh, some some greenery to hang off the side of the building, almost like ivy in a way. It's not quite ivy, but that side of the building just really needed something because it doesn't have much to it. I didn't really didn't really want to put windows in that side of the building either, because then it becomes a bit too symmetrical. So I decided to put some uh, seaweed hanging down and then sort of hide that side of the building with. Uh, a lot of big trees, and I also tried to hide the bit of the, the coaster platform that's coming through the wall there with uh, just a lot of plants and stuff like that. But I will say, I absolutely love how the landscaping turned out in this particular area. I, I love just how almost overgrown it looks. It's, it's not quite out of control, but there's a lot going on. And uh, I, I just think, I think it works. I really do. I love just, I, I... I do it in City Skylines as well. I love bold colors coming through when you've got a lot of green going on. Like, obviously, the grass is very green, and then a lot of the plants I'm using are just green. Trees are sort of just green. And then we have this really strong red coming through. We have the yellow coming through from uh, that tree that I'm using more as a bush. We have a little bit of pink coming through. Generally, just I, I love how the whole thing looks. We have some palm trees, big trees, I don't know, just a lot of stuff going on, and it just seems to to work, and I think it just really matches the, uh, the theme that we have going on. So, in a second, or just about now, we're gonna go into a coaster cam section of the video, where, uh, you can actually see just how ridiculous this coaster is. I don't think I mentioned, but it does clip through parts of the building, and I'm kind of okay with that, because... In my mind, the, the park needs to look aesthetically pleasing from above and from the sort of the view that would, you would play in. And uh, to anyone that would be in the park, but not on a ride. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of okay with it clipping through the, the stuff here. I'm, I'm not too concerned about that. The, uh, the ticket booth also clips through stuff, but that's just a necessity. The inside of this building is not all that pretty. But again... That's just the way it's gonna be. Anyway, coming into some screenshots here, we're gonna be wrapping the video up with these. This is a view of the swinging ship and you'll get the rest of them. Whatever the case, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, that is gonna be it. If you have any ideas for what you would like to see in this park, do leave them in the comment section below. But that is, that is that. That's part one of Pirate Valley. So I shall see you next time. Bye bye <laughs>